Now, finally time to finish Mahiru, me thinks. Alright, Mahiru. Finish her! <laughs> Get it? Because, yeah. Alright, where is she? Where is Mahiru? What would you like to do? Spend time together. Jeez. I really should take better care of my camera. If it ever breaks, it's impossible for me to send it out for repairs right now. Yeah, you've already said this. <laughs> you always say the same stuff for these lines? Oh, well. It feels weird not to use it. There's so many things here I want to take pictures of. I'm going to go take some photos of scenery, but if you feel like following me, go for it. Alright, time to finish Mihiru off. Follow my hero while she took pictures, and I learned a little bit about photography in the process. Looks like Mihiru and I grew a little closer. And as always, definitely... What would she like to have? She always likes the cameras. Uh, but she also likes the love note. Where is it? I'm gonna give her another love note. Kiss note. As it, not kiss note, actually. That's even better. Kiss note. Take my kisses. Oh, you're surprisingly considerate. Thank you. I guess my opinion you is a little different now. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. Hey. Actually, I need to ask you for something. Will you listen to me? Well, it depends on what you're gonna ask. Hey. Jeez, why do guys always say stuff like that? Do you really mistrust me that much? That's not it. Oh, sorry. Don't feel sad. What is it? Huh? Somehow she seems less headstrong than usual. It's because she was opening her dairy around you. Her eyes are red. Wait, she's not about to cry right now, is she? Oh boy. I'm sorry, I'll listen to anything you have to say. Anything. <laughs> but only listen. Nothing kinky. Anything? Uh, well, you know, if it's something I can do. You don't need to be scared. It's not like I'm gonna make you do something impossible. Well, that would be impossible. But... but this is something only you can do. I mean, I guess other people could do it, but I don't want them to. I mean, if you know what I'm getting at, I'm just... Uh, only me? Well, what does that mean? I can't really imagine what she's gonna ask. <laughs> Wait, he's saying this out loud. Uh, I would think he would want to think this. <laughs> they just fuck up, or did the game creators fuck up? One or the other. Um, since this place isn't that good, can we go somewhere else? Mahiru dragged me away from the area. There's no one else on the beach. Mahiru's been quiet for a while now. Hey, um, what did you want to ask me? This is similar to Chiaki's last one. We also ended that one on the beach. And they're my two favorite females. Coincidence? I think not. Maybe she's also an AI now. Uh, what do you want to ask me? Well, that's... Then... Can you take a photo of me? Oh, oh, oh. Oh? Oh. Okay. Not quite where I thought that was going. <laughs> you want me to take your picture? But why me? I mean, I haven't really taken many pictures before, and I don't even know how to use your camera. It's fine. I just want you to take it. Oh, You want a picture of you taken by your love. <laughs> I can tell from Hero's face that she's not joking about this at all. I don't really know the reason, but I did say I would listen to anything she says. Fine then. Hmm. Mirror handed me her camera and I nervously took it with my trembling hands. And then I dropped it. Shit! That was worth a thousand dollars, you dumbass! Psh, Falcon Punch. Now then, how should I take the picture? Um, what should I be careful about when I'm taking a picture of someone? Um, damn it, I can't check the backlog. Walk one step forward. No. Don't talk to the subject. Maybe. Take it as fast as I can? Take it as fast as I can? Is it better if I take the picture as fast as I can? Uh, you're not supposed to say it. You ruin it if you say it. You... Where'd you hear that? Or do you have something else you'd rather be doing right now? No, it's cause... That's what she does, doesn't she? She takes it in the moment. And then he was like, erase it, and then she's like, no, doesn't that make some sense? I think that makes some sense. Whatever. Well, no. Then take your time until you get the shot just right. I see. And the other thing I should worry about is... Uh, what should I be careful about when I'm taking a picture of someone? Don't talk to the subject? Walk one step forward doesn't make any sense, does it? Um... 
Is it better if I don't talk to you until I finish taking the picture? No, of course not. What? Aww. No matter what the photographer does, it's the subject that needs to ready themselves. It's more natural for the photographer and the subject to keep talking. That's why I thought the other one made more sense. Take one step forward. What? Since when is that a thing? I don't really get where this is going, but um, uh, apparently there's a reason. The other thing I should worry about is, uh, what should I be careful about? I guess it's this. Um, that doesn't really seem like it makes any sense whatsoever, unless I'm walking one step forward so we can get giggity, but I don't think that's where they're going with this. I guess it's better to take one step forward. Yep, when you're not used to taking photos, you somehow always end up taking one step back. Um, yeah? I suppose. When you're taking shots of people, the photo comes out better if you're closer to them. Well, I guess, but it depends on where you're standing, doesn't it? I don't know. I'm not a photo person. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's a thing. I didn't know it was a thing. But... But you don't have to do that right now. <laughs> huh? It's better if I get closer, right? It's fine. Come on, hurry up and take it. I've never felt this strange feeling before in my life. Normally I'd feel too embarrassed to do it, but because I looked a locked eyes with me here through the viewfinder. Oh boy. It's 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 love at 30 second sight. 69th sight. I picked 30 second just as a random number, but then I realized no, it's just at 69. Or 42? That would have been okay as well. The mirror I was looking at through the camera looked like she had a completely different face than before. I suddenly felt extremely embarrassed and I accidentally pressed the shutter. What? Click! Oh, shit. As soon as I released the shutter, Mira immediately ran over to me and took the camera from my hands. Wait. What? Am I stupid or am I missing... And accidentally pressed the shutter. Isn't that the thing that blocks the isn't that the thing that blocks the lens the shutter uh or is that take the picture i thought he blocked the lens and then took the picture so the shutter takes the picture maybe that shows how much i know about cameras i i mean but with the name shutter i would assume it shuts the camera from taking a proper picture like doesn't that just make sense like if it's just gonna take the picture i would think there'd be many better things you could say than shutter that doesn't I'm sorry, that doesn't make sense to me. Even if that's a real thing that that photo people use as things to say, as things, 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 things? To me, it doesn't make sense. Anyways, I took a picture. Huh? Does my face really look like this? <laughs> <laughs> I look a little goofy. I guess I can't say much about your photography skills. Really? I thought I did pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Oh. Huh? Like it as much as the photos my mom took. Oh, really? Was she not a good photographer? Or are you just praising me that much? My heart was racing for some reason. I didn't really know what to say. So let's get naked. What? It's the beach. I mean, because swimsuits? Yes, almost naked. Hey. I realized I didn't have many photos of myself. So I was thinking about taking at least one shot of myself while I'm on this island. The me who's here like this. I really wanted a record of myself as you see me. Thanks, Hajime. Yeah. Hey, hey! I know, if you're interested, I'll give you my old camera. Huh? No, that's okay. Just your panties will do. What? I, I mean, camera's fine. <laughs> it's fine, I want you to use it. But I didn't bring it with me, so if we ever get off the island... Oh, don't do that! Please let this alternate timeline be the true ending. Like, fuck the main story. All the cool characters die. Ugh. Make sure I teach you how to take photos. So, when we're finally able to get out of here together, maybe we can... God damn it! Why does she have to die? Like, I knew she... I hated how I, I was like, oh, she's like the most generic, you know, she's a generic tsundere. That's like a, b a big part of her character is that. It's like a really generic trait. Is there a good chance she's going to die early? I thought maybe in case one. And then when she survived through case one, I'm like, well, maybe she'll survive for a while then. Maybe I was wrong about her getting killed off early because she's generic. Nope, case two. And I'm like, eh. I just, I called it, but I didn't call it quite right. So I, eh. God damn it. Can this be the true pathway? Can this alternate reality where everybody lives be the true pathway? Well, except for Terra Terra. I want to kill him first. No. <sighs> it 
As Mira suddenly stopped speaking, I stayed silent as well. Actually, let me take in what she just said. What? I want you to use it, but I didn't bring it with me, so if we ever get out of this island, I'll make sure I teach you how to take photos. So when we're finally able to get out of here together, maybe we can get giggity, right? No, we have to do it before we get out of here, because you die in the true path. <laughs> I'm so sad. Ugh. All I heard was the sound of the waves crashing around us. There wasn't a single atom of awkwardness contained in our silence. Are you sure? I would think there'd be plenty of awkwardness. I can feel a strong bond between Mihiro and myself. Mihiro, let's definitely get off this island with everyone. So I can one day hear the words she wanted to say. No! And then we never find out. Like, we, we know. We know what she wanted to say. She wanted to say, let's get giggity, but... Uh, now I kind of want to do trip tickets with her, too. <laughs> If I have to do New Game Plus, Mahir will be my next choice for, you know, getting giggity with. You just unlocked the skill Autofocus. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. And of course. Ooh, hang a present. Here's undergarments. You can check it from the presents menu. After staring at the ocean for a while, I went back to my room. I mean, that's part of the appeal of this game, is, you know, how sad it is when, everybody, when you know, all these characters die and only a few survive, but... I feel like, as far as the big picture goes, the big story, the first game just does that so much better. For one thing, I feel like the characters that live, for the most part, aside from Hagakure, um, all really develop a lot more than the other characters, and, I mean, even the ones that die, there's a lot of really sad deaths there, but, you know, they kind of push the characters on, make them stronger, but in this game, it's like, it's not quite the same um because a the virtual reality all the the time that passed they didn't really i don't know it just it's not quite the same feeling plus the ending is just bad but i don't know it's just another one thing because i don't know i feel like again a lot of the characters i feel that were better written died earlier as opposed to in the first game where the characters that were better, better written lived to the end so i don't know like um like, I think the best character that lived to the end was Sonya, and even then, I don't think she's a good, good, as good as a lot of the other characters that lived. Like, um, Chiaki, Nikito, kinda, sorta, maybe, um, Nekomaru, Mahiru, maybe even characters like Abuki, kinda, well, Abuki's kinda arguable. Gundam, probably, is pretty well written as well. Anyways, the point is, first game's better. Have I said that enough yet? Um... Mir asked me to take a picture of her so she could see herself as I see her. After we leave the island, she promised to give me your old camera and teach me photography. God damn it. Please let the alternate reality be real. I want it to be real. Automatically target the weak spot during concentration. I think they're going to launch up the bait. And let's check her panties real quick. As you do. Here's undergarments. Here's panties. It seems she has an eye for detail when it comes to undergarments. You think? Alright, moving on. Night time! Please get plenty of rest so you can do your very skin tomorrow. Good night! Sleep tight. Day 22. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're all working so hard, here you go! You have a nice day! Two Jabba Croquets. So how's everybody doing? Nobody's terribly tired, that's good. Two Jabba Croquets restores a fair amount of HP. Gundam. Uh, soda cans. There you go. Probably end up using the hot pot soon. I'm getting a lot of stuff. That's good. I just don't know if I'm getting the right stuff. So, there lies the issue. What do we get? Uh, oh, Soda Cans and Peko both leveled up. That's cool. Um, Soda Cans has five searching power now, doesn't he? Cool. Uh, we got three seashells, two plates, um, ten jab of fish, one seaweed, one egg, one shiny stone, three coconuts, three sands, three logs, two beast meats, three jab of crab, two jab of squid, two beast skin, one salt, 
one beast oil, one Jabba pearl, three Jabba potato, one Jabba banana, two golden eggs, finally got some of those at least, one milk, and one Jabba cabbage. How far is that to being good? Not entirely sure. So, yeah. Let's start Fiahiko. Sure. Where is he? I kind of want to. Uh, let's talk about how, you know, Pekko's dead, even though she's not in this timeline. Um, where is Fihiko? I wonder if they if they actually have his free times without the eye patch, or if there's gonna be like, or if this eye patch is gonna magically spawn. That'll be interesting. I kind of I kind of want to see the eye patch magically spawn, even though that's kind of lazy. It's also kind of funny. So I mean, whether or not they decide to go the funny route or the dev team thinks of everything route, whatever. Either way, kind of good, but <laughs> whatever. Spend time together. Does he have the eye patch? Damn it. No, he doesn't. Huh, cool. Tch, how much longer do we have to stay in this place? I feel like it's gonna make me rock to death. Huh. Still, I guess talking to someone isn't so bad. I spent time today talking to Fuyuhiko. Looks like Fuyuhiko and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give a present to Fuyuhiko? Definitely not really. Yeah, definitely. I know exactly what to give him. Something I got long before I could even free time with him, and it drove me the fucking crazies. So, it's... I don't actually know where it is. I have to find it. Here it is. Another battle. The first in a series of Yakuza films. It became popular for being a Yakuza film that had no battle scenes in it whatsoever. Wow. Alright, here you go. Huh? I see. So you're giving that to me? That's pretty considerate. Huh. You'd make an awesome underling. Hey, Fuyuhiko, how is that wound on your stomach doing? You know, the one that's not here in this timeline. Huh? It's fine. Nothing to worry about. I thought you'd say that. You must have abnormally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. Then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. Hm. I just had Yakuza blood flowing in my veins. Nothing strong about that. You know, I did some thinking about this when I was in the hospital. Oh, yeah? Like, maybe this is all a dream. <laughs> and you're not quite that far off. A dream, huh? How great would that be? Ah, sorry. Obviously you'd be thinking about that more than I would. Well. It's not true. I've seen plenty of people die up till now. As long as I'm burdened with the Kazuryu name, I'll always be dealing with a mountain of bodies. Jeez. You guys aren't like me. It's a sick joke to see students who live honest lives bumping each other off like this. This guy has always known violence and death. He's used to it. Huh. He's scared to talk to me. He says he's used to it, but inside I know he's a big softy. I mean, maybe he's seen people die before, but I don't think he's ever seen anyone that close to him die before. Uh, no, I'm not really scared to talk to you. Um, <laughs> uh... I'd be a lot more scared if you had your kick-ass eye patch. <laughs> huh? Jeez. No need to hide it. I'm used to being treated with caution by everybody. Hey. The world's a barbaric place, especially my world. Everyone I know tries to settle things with violence. You guys have different values than I do. Hey, what about another battle, where which has no battles in it? That didn't settle anything with violence, I guess. <laughs> hmm. My old man likes to say predators are always stronger than their prey. Um, usually? He's a hothead. Even if it's just a minor argument, he'll come at you with everything he's got. I know the feeling. I kind of do that sometimes myself. <laughs> and when him and my mom fight, she seriously tries to kill him. Um, you mean seriously metaphorically? Or seriously literally? Like seriously seriously? Being a Yakuza means you can even kill the man you love to get your point across. <laughs> what? I've been hearing stuff like that since before I was old enough to understand what's going on around me. That's a pretty outrageous home life. The worlds we both live in couldn't be more different. Like... Were a few times when I nearly got killed in the aftermath of my parents' fights. Pekko. But whenever something like that happened, Pekko was always there by my side. I'm sorry, I made you remember something painful. Huh? What? You don't need to apologize for that, you strange bastard. Still, I'm the rightful successor of the Kuzuryu clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. Hey, 
By the time I was in the second grade, I didn't cry even if I lost a fight. But you did lose a fight? I see. Good for you. Hey, bastard. Good for me? Don't treat me like I'm a kid. I don't really know what else to say to him. Anyway, it's not much better, but I am starting to get to know Fuhiko a little better. Fuhiko's report card's been updated. Hooray! After talking to Fuhiko about some other things, I parted uh, ways with him and returned to my room. And I'm going to check his thingy thing. What is his thingy thing about? Where is he? Uh, <laughs> fried dough cookies. Kazuya Clan is known for settling his disputes violently. By the time Fuhiko was in the second grade, he no longer cried about anything, including losing a fight. Though he did lose fights. <laughs> that must not be forgotten. Everyone, it's night time! Oh my gosh, like recently, these past few days, I should just bring this up. I've been dreading editing all the videos. The entire Danganronpa Let's Play, the entire Zero Escape. I haven't touched them yet. I'm just, oh my gosh, how long has I got a friggin' take? I don't even know. Um, I've never had to edit this much before. I mean, I've had an edit backlog before, but never two entire Let's Plays. So, it's probably going to take quite a while. But, that's not here or then. Actually, it will be then. Very soon, in fact. Once I'm done these extra stuff, I kind of want it to last as long as it can, but at the same time I want it to get it over with because I want to get to the next Let's Play. But the next Let's Play probably won't be for a while. Well, actually, for you, it'll be right away. For me, it'll be in a while because, you know, replace the time that you guys had to wait while I was recording with the time that I have to wait while I'm editing, maybe. I don't know. Night time! Please get plenty of rest. You can do your very best again tomorrow. Good night! Four days left. Oh boy. Um, okay, we still have a ways to go for our next day off, so I don't have to worry about that. Personal effects? Lots of tired people. Restores all HP to everyone. I don't know if that's worth it yet. Maybe. Almost. Not quite. No, I want to wait till a bunch of orange people go blue. Nobody's super sane today, unfortunately. Hope Akane doesn't pass out. She looks like she's tired. Like, everybody else looks up, but... Oh, no! I have two people who are down. Hajime passed out and Ibuki passed out. Uh, oops. Um... Bunch of level ups, though. What do we get? I, I don't think it's worth it. Letting people pass out? I might reset. Give me a sec. God damn it. I don't feel very well. It might be a good time for some rest. Oh. Is, am I even going to get free time? I don't even know. If I don't get free time, I definitely would want to reset. Okay, but yeah, anyways. I have decided. I'm going to not let that happen. So yeah, hopefully no one passes out. Hopefully it's not random chance. Hopefully it's based on a health bar. If somebody passes out, I'm calling a bit of bullshit, but... Oh well. Okay, nobody passed out. Good. So, Mahiru leveled up, that's that's cool. Kane leveled up, Sonya leveled up, and Nagito leveled up. So, okay, what did we get this time? Eh, that was a bad day. So hopefully the results this time are better. Um, I know we need some of those Jabba squids, some golden eggs, that's good. Getting a lot of Jabba fish and, you know, green flowers and shit we don't need, but... So, yeah, the level ups are fixed, but the the collectibles are randomized, it seems. Um, what do we get? We got great four green flower, three java cabbage, two log, one beast skin, um, three seashell, two java squid, two golden egg, four beast meat, three milk, um, one plate, one magical powder, two java crab, one special beast meat, one battery, one water, one jab banana, ooh. One expensive plate. Ah, uh, I think this is a bit better. Maybe. Alright, fine. I'll let this one slide. Okay. Here's a big phantom. Can I really have this? Yay! Always wanted something like this. Hey, you! 
You look like a different person. Ha thank you. By the way. Uh, by the way, about your last name, Sionji. Grr! Uh, what? What the hell was that for? I feel like someone punched me in the stomach. Um, what? What? Huh. I had a real bad dream today. The next time you casually say my last name, I'll kill you. Uh, what? You should warn me about that ahead of time. What's wrong with your last name anyway? Is it really that big of a deal? So... I hate my last name. And yet you still have it. You haven't changed it. Everyone who shares my last name eventually dies a crazy death. Uh, and I guess that includes you? Does that include you too? <laughs> oh well. Huh? You can't be helped, because chosen bloodlines are always targeted by conspiracies and assassinations and stuff. <laughs> when I'm the head of my family, I'll probably do similar stuff too. Well, since my dad only married me into the family, I guess I can let him off easy. Uh, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? You're a crazy little child, you know that? If I'm understanding you right? <laughs> Conspiracies? Assassinations? Which cockroach said that? These people are just the worst. They'll put pins in kids' shoes or scatter dead mice all over your bed? They're the type of people who drop stage lights on you on purpose or poison your food. Stage lights. Uh, reminiscent. Uh, oh well. Hey! So they totally deserve to die, right? Uh, maybe? There's nothing lamer than being envied by people who have no talent at all. Did all those things actually happen to Hyoko? I can see why she's a bit crazy then. Heard that Tsuyonji family was famous for its traditional Japanese dancing. Uh. Not that it was famous for getting attacked. Do you know about a performance called The Madness of uh, Nakazu? It's a dance about a dad who goes crazy. Does that represent your dad? To tell you the truth, the dad's craziness is a total lie. Now why would he do something like that? Oh? Do you know why? There's no way I'd know anything about that, but if I compare that character to Yoko's father, to use his daughter, to protect his daughter, to kill his own daughter? Um, um, uh, what? He went crazy, but he was only pretending to go crazy to protect his daughter? Question mark? Was he trying to protect his daughter? Hey, hey! That's right. The story is about a father who pretends he's crazy so he can protect his daughter from perverts. During the performance, the bad guys are punished, and there's a happily ever after ending, but... Life isn't that easy. My hag grandma thinks the family name is so important that she took me away from my parents. Oh shit. <laughs> but then again, she did take good care of me. Until she died a horrible death. After all, I'm the next head of the family. That's kind of interesting. Usually it's the males that are the heads, but then again, um, it's like... They said the father married into the family, so maybe in this family the females are the heads. That would be interesting. You you don't feel lonely? That's why it really makes me happy when you talk to me. Oh! I didn't know that. Yes, yes! As long as I say that, everyone gladly agrees to become my slave. <laughs> what? Hold on a sec. What you said just now. How much of it was a lie? <laughs> this is similar to the Megiddo thing. <laughs> You're so stupid. It'd be boring if I told you. What the heck? I was actually worried about you for a moment. <laughs> oh? <laughs> oh gosh. That, 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 that whine is just so whiny. Don't yell at me. It's not my fault. Why are you still yelling at me? Well, um, you know, how should I put this? I'm sorry. <laughs> Once again, I feel like I understand Hyoko a little better now. Just a little, but also a little less at the same time. The more I get to know her, the more fearful I become. <laughs> I felt really tired after I got Hyoko to stop crying, so I went back to my room. Anyways, let me check the report card. Uh, with Hyoko getting up there in the shards. 
The Sayonji family sounds quite complicated. Yoko seems to dislike her father and comes across as lonely. Or maybe it's all an act? I can't tell through her fake tears. Which are fake and which are real. Oh boy, I have enough. Um, clock up. Uh, okay. Sure. The plan is obviously to have all of them by the end. I'm assuming I can. I hope I can. I'm kind of mad if I can. But really tired after I to stop crying, so I went back to my room. Everyone, it's night time. Please get plenty of rest. You can do your very best again tomorrow. Good night. Day 24. I only have, what, three days left? I can't stop drooling. Well, at least we got Terror Terror the Master, apparently. For some reason, it's been standing up like this for a while now. I want to enter various places. Oh, God, Terror Terror. Terror Terror seems to be feeling pretty good. Uh... Hopefully you don't enter the wrong places. You and your pink nose bleeds. So everybody's tired, not quite everybody. Everybody's supposed to be tired. Um, I think that's enough tired people. That's that's a lot of tired. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 tired people. And then 3 orange people. I think that's enough tired people to warrant the Java Hotbot. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's check out what we need left still. We still need two expensive plates, one golden egg, three special beast meat. What about the uh, things? The thingies. We need eight java squids, four seaweeds. Eight squids, four seaweeds. Um, eight milks, five bananas. It's a lot of freaking shit we need to get. I think we've gotten almost everything though. I think, yeah, everything's been unlocked, at least. Seems like. Yeah, everything, we found everything at least. At the very least, we found everything now. Only two cleaners, but one of them super sand, so it should be okay. What do we got? We got our last golden egg, that's good. Okay, we got a Hajime level up and a Buki level up and a, um,. And what's her face level up? Um, Yoko. So let's see here. Did we get stuff that we needed? Um, one golden egg. Three jab bananas. That was terrible. Two squids, one seaweed. This is terrible. Um, I guess I'll have to take it though. I don't think I saved beforehand. But I'm definitely going to save scum on my last two days to make sure I get this, but... Yeah, that was pretty bad. Very strange. Who in the world organized this farce? Even if I wanted to think about it, there aren't enough clues. Hmm. All this thinking is making me hungry. Let's have a small meal. Come. I spent time with Biaki today watching him eat an obscene amount of food. It's not Biaki. It's, it's really bugging me. Looks like Biaki let me get a little closer to him. Sure. Like, what is fake Biakia like? I have no clue. Food, maybe? Do you like food? I don't know. Here, have a civet coffee. <laughs> no? Okay, <laughs> you've actually shaken me quite a bit. In a way, I think better of you. At least we still get a thing from him. Hey, Hajime, let me ask you one thing. Huh, me? I don't really mind, but... Something I've been wondering for a while, and I'd like to purge that question from my mind. Listen. Let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? What? I don't really know the exact number. I've never had a check before. What? Never had a check before? This can't be! Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat still within you? <laughs> I swear, that's why I dislike commoners. I just, I, uh, sh fuck you. Fuck you and your... And you're not being Biakuya. It's pissing me off. Like, all these free times are going to make us... None of them are going to make us think he's not Byakuya. There might be a bit of foreshadowing at the most. Like, we're not going to learn anything about this guy at all. It just pisses me off. For some reason, Byakuya's mood seems abnormal. Stop calling him Byakuya, too. That's bugging me. 
I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. I see. Just by looking at you, I'd say that you're a nine. No, maybe an eight. <laughs> God, this is probably around one digit. <laughs> grateful this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospital, you'd freeze to death. I see. <laughs> anyway, you still can't remember what your talent is? Not yet. Don't worry. However, there's no need for you to be depressed about it. Huh? Shh. What's with that face? I just thought I was going to get yelled at again. How foolish. You really think I'd get mad about something like that? A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you, weaklings. <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. In the name of my family. As long as Byakuya Togumi is in charge, you will all know peace. Well, too bad he's not in charge then. I see. Personality is so overwhelming. <laughs> and so fake. The Army Corporation is a famous worldwide, but it will grow even more rapidly under my command. It's a shame that it won't be under your command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Well, I guess I should feel a bit lucky that someone as talented as you is here, but I don't feel lucky that I never got to know any goddamn thing about you. At all. Ever. So freaking lazy. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. Uh, nope. I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. This is Byaku Togumi, the ultimate affluent progeny. No, it's not. Uh, anything we know about him in this game, get to know about him, is completely bullshit. So, that's why it's kind of stupid. Hmm. Make sure you don't get in my way. A commoner should know their place and stay put. Goodbye. If there's anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. Like, the way he's acting is different than regular Byakuya. And, you know, if you just started playing the game and spending free time with him, you think, Oh, maybe Byakuya in the first game developed or some shit. But, no, maybe... Is it because he's a different person? Is this, you know, his realist... His personality shining through like I don't know I really don't know did you a shitty impersonating job is this just really how he's acting or I have no idea you're saying that Byakuya gallantly strolled away not Byakuya that is being pretty condescending but he doesn't seem like a bad guy I feel like I got to know a little bit about Byakuya hooray decide to return to my room for now so yeah time to start the saves coming I feel like I've been getting bad luck, but I kind of have to make up for it with saves coming. I don't have much of a choice, I feel. I feel so pumped that I can probably make like a hundred songs. Luigi seems to be feeling pretty good. I'd be surprised if I make this goal. Like, I need quite a bit of luck, I think. Really need to get some of this stuff. Nope, that's not happening. Nope, this isn't going to fly either. I might just retry this a few times and then give up eventually. I actually think I'm going to end it here. Next time, I'll either continue when I basically give up, or when I actually start to get really lucky. Either way, um, I'll see you guys next time. For now, I'm going to finish this, so... See you guys next time, let's play Dino Duke of Espair. Next time, I'll continue this island mode, and maybe things will go better. Or maybe I'll have to fucking give up, because, yeah, the luck is not on my side. See you guys then. Bye.